All right, man. So one of my people seen uh, the video I did on Errol Spence and responding to Terrence Crawford this morning and said, don't believe that BS. Errol Spence has got a guarantee. He was getting a guarantee in that deal. Don't believe it. Right. So, I mean, two things can't be true. You know what I'm saying? In this situation. In some most situations, two things can be true. But in this situation, no. If he had cash, all right, either he wasn't getting no guarantee. That means he wasn't a cash cow, right? He wasn't a pay-per-view star. Pay-per-view stars get high guarantees, right? They get high guarantees. Or he lying. You got to be one or the other. Can't be one and the same in this scenario. Can't be one and the same. So is he a pay-per-view star? Cash cow, whatever his fanboy screaming or not. And he got on the internet and fucking star line. And it don't take long to reach right right reach to the right people. Cause where else can you hear, you know, boxing get talked about instead of I mean, where else you gonna hear boxing get talked about like this other than YouTube? So all the motherfuckers watching from the advisors to the managers. You know, to the fighters, I really don't look at it like that per se. I just look at it. I'm speaking my mind. So he wasn't. He was talking. About, I wasn't getting the guarantee neither. I, man, somebody hit me back, and I hadn't even had that shit up for like an hour. So I don't believe that shit. Spence line, and then he done lie so much, and his fans continue to to move move the pendulum. Like Julius Ring IQ said, we just we kicking shit on Twitter on Wednesday. I mean on Thursday. You know, niggas, you know, Spence fans taking it serious and Bud fans taking it too serious. We just talking shit, having fun with it. That's all it is, right? You know, we have Twitter on fire. And, you know, we talk, somehow we got to talk about Mikey and shit. You know, he ain't knock out Mikey. And I said, like, well, I said, well, he said he wasn't trying to knock out Mikey. Then Julius said, after the fight, that ain't what he said. I got a screen record that he said he tried to knock him out. He couldn't do it. So, I mean, he told Sean Porter that he ain't try. So, which one is it? Two things can't be true. <laughs> not in that scenario. Did you try? Did you not try? Simple as that. He done told so many, so many damn lies, bro. That nigga like the Eddie Hearn of boxers. You know, he like Bob Aaron a boxer. You don't know when he lying. When he telling the truth. He he be he be so all over the place, and like I said, with his buffoonery, his fans feed off him. If that make any sense, his fans feed off him. When they talk about get his numbers up, he, he can't call get getting numbers up. You know, it was been doing big big numbers. You know what I'm saying? They fans say what they say. So, I mean, he is the new Mr. Cap since Gary Russell being an actor. With Devin Haney said, that's Cap, that's Cap, that's Cap. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, hit me up immediately. Like, that nigga lying. So, don't surprise me, dude. That's what that dude do. You don't know when he lying or telling the truth. And the proof's in the PBC pudding. How many big fights PBC didn't make with their own fighters? None. They ain't had no fight that cracked that cracked a million or anywhere close to the million without without Floyd. Without Floyd. Come on, Floyd more active than all them niggas. He getting fight dates with or without Showtime. He getting money. They paying the money to entertain. You know, and he got the money to make the fight happen. At least we think so. But at the end of the day, come on, is it really his place? You know, Al Heyman got more money than him, probably for sure. But he get on there, fuck a lot about shit. And Terrence Crawford said, "On my kids, nigga." I think Earl Spence can say shit back to that. Yeah, nigga, be like, oh, my kids too, nigga. Shit, hell no. 
You know? Nigga, I wasn't getting a guarantee neither, man. Nigga, lying like a motherfucker. So, if you wasn't getting a guarantee, so you was happy with not getting a guarantee, that mean y'all must not have been getting guarantees the whole time. That's what it sounded like to your boy. Y'all wasn't getting guarantees the whole time. And I know that ain't the case with the great pay-per-view star, Errol Spence. I mean, so put 40,000 people in Cowboy Stadium? Shit. I know that had to bring back like $40 million. Shit, it was a thousand to get up in that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I ain't see them $35 tickets. You know, I ain't see them $37, $40 tickets. I seen $1,000 tickets to get up in there. Nigga, hop on the internet fucking lying, nigga. Lying. Like niggas ain't gonna find out. I don't care who believe or don't believe what the fuck I'm saying. I'm fine with that. I don't care. But I, you know that I know you lying. <laughs> and that's what you do best. And we got plenty of clips of you fucking lying about nothing, nigga. You be like, man, yeah, man, I don't even fuck with the Adidas like that, dog. You know, I don't even fuck with the Nikes on. You be like, man, Earl, you got Adidas on right now? Oh, man, them the special Adidas Nikes. Uh, 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 you know, addition and shit. You know, they did a collab just for your boy EJ because I'm a big star. <laughs> I'm like, Earl, man. What color of the sky, man? It's orange, nigga. Earl, man, it's black, man. It's orange. Bro. I'm telling you, man. I think you'd be lying about anything, bro. And niggas know about your habits out here, bro. And I ain't talking about vices like shooting dice or having a gambling issue, man. They said a nigga been having habits since the amateurs. That's what the niggas down there telling me. I don't know what you're doing. Don't care what you're doing. A lot of great fighters have had habits and been very, very great. You know? Been very great. So, I mean, that's your personal dude. You're doing your personal time. Eh, whatever floats your boat. You know, you're in a high contact sport. A lot of niggas got to find relief. But I ain't mad at you. Shit, do what you do. As long as you don't test positive, hey man, I don't give a fuck. The reaction that Benavidez got that you gonna get is gonna be totally two different things, my nigga. But back on track. Now, what else the nigga was lying about? He said, well, you know, he was talking about the contract, the contract. Now the nigga talking about pull out a rough draft. The nigga about to have, you know, that nigga gonna. Man, these people, bro. Detroit, we, well, I don't mean Detroit right now. They stop at green light. They stop at green lights and run red lights. So, so what else you lying about? Nigga say you wasn't even in the gym. Huh? You wasn't with me shooting in the gym. Huh? So you wasn't even training, nigga. Shit. And then, I, I ain't gonna say the nigga name. But somebody said on Twitter that after they interviewed Jerron Boos Ennis, that off air, he said, we already knew that Earl was going to be fighting Keith Thurman since the uh, uh, summer. Everybody knew it. Duh, we all knew Keith Thurman beat Barrios. He said he's fighting a nigga in November, December. So that ain't no, you know, that ain't no mystery. That ain't no mystery, dude. Everybody already knew it. So everybody trying to act front on Terrence Crawford, dude. You know, everybody already knew what the plan was. Espinosa, he's a fucking weasel. He's a weasel. <laughs> Conor McGregor called him a weasel. He knew what the deal was. He going around here playing the role. Like the nigga about to be in the new Five Heartbeats movie or some shit. But my office hours, nah. Five Espinosa full of that shit too. He is. Why his wife don't want to be with his ass? He all trying to hug up on her. She all like, man, nigga, get off me, nigga. What you on my live for? <laughs> nigga, <laughs> she throw the flag on the play. Personal five. <laughs> Excessive roughness on the play. Get off your girl. Get off your wife. That's your wife. You don't always say, get off me in public, man. Shit. Bro, the divorce papers would be on, man. Be on the fucking table quicker, quicker than quick. It's 
So I don't care about him neither. He full of shit too. I was wondering why Conor McGregor was saying he's a fucking weasel. It was funny. He's a weasel. <laughs> Hilarious. But Big e, they all played the role. I'm trying to protect Earl Spence. You need to be protecting your pockets. Fuck protecting Earl Spence. Nick, that's what he signed up for. Is to get out here and fight the best. That's what he signed up for. That's what he signed up for. Y'all can make a good fight, you know. And then when you talk about Ben Davies he's talking about the fans. The fans didn't like Usutaki. He was on pairs and all that. When it's convenient for them, it's about the fans. You know, then when it ain't convenient for them, who care what the fans think? That's why Leonard Ellaby sitting his ass at home with no fight dates. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Always dissing the fans, saying the fans don't want this, the fans want that. You know, it is what it is. One thing, y'all don't like y'all gonna be on Showtime too much longer. Shit, y'all ain't on there right now. Shit, Dave Morrell might close that hoe out. Dave Morrell might close it out. Turn off the lights, light a candle. Dave Morrell might close it out. That nigga might be the closer for the Phillies or some shit. Shit. He fighting the witch call it, man. Get back Johnson or some shit like that. <laughs> Ali Wamwao Dickerson Naka 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 from Two Shawaka Waka Wayne Shawaka Waka or some shit like that. They why wanna see that shit. You at, you at home Saturday night in the 70s, it's in the set, late 60s, you know, early 70s in the weather in the Midwest, you sitting at home watching Dave Morrell, man. You better have a broken leg, broken pockets, shit. You got broke pocket to get up off your ass and on your feet. Ain't no time to beat your meat and go get some money. Ain't nobody about to be watching Dave and fucking Morrell, nigga. Shit. I'd rather watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1, 2, and 3 before I watch that. Why? I'd rather watch a Christmas story. I'd rather hang Christmas lights, nigga. Come on. I'd rather go troll uh, Samage Boy, CeeLo Green. You think of the nigga that let uh, uh, Michael Clark Duncan steal his fucking company from him and trying to act like everything cool. You got everything all right? Yes, it's okay, sir. We're, we're fine, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. Like the uh, Hakuza then took over his shit. We're fine. We're not going to call the police. We're not going to call the feds. He can just have it. It's like it's bubble bars. It's like the beach cruiser. It's bubble bars. So, it is what it is, man. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance of notifications. We go live and drop a video. Uh, hit the link tree. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, and Cash App, Limo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate y'all. Peace. Belief about no, I'm on the phone. You on the phone? Yeah, yeah. Looking at my baby. No, no, no. I ain't looking at him. I'm good. You sure? Yeah, I'm good. All right, man. Next time we come outside, don't be staring shit like that. I don't like that. I wasn't looking at him.